today's adventure is taking Yarden and Wilder out for their very first try in a different space. So very, very interesting to see how this goes. Um, not so much on Yarden's case, but definitely on Wilder to see if a new atmosphere is really going to um, put him out of place or if he is um, willing to be a part of our um, performance. So this will be a really good um, assessment to see how he goes today. So the boy's here in the float and it dawned on me that Wilder hadn't actually been in a float for a very long time since he actually arrived. Um, so he went really well going on um, our float. And also here he is here. I'm just having a little walk around with them together. But Wilder also, um, not to my knowledge, has ever been in an indoor. Now this indoor is a fully enclosed indoor. So um, when I am um, assessing and wanting the horses to um, be okay about doing things, I'm making sure in this case and most cases, if I can, I'll have a more experienced horse come with a horse that hasn't had that experience. So that's why um, Yarden knows this arena. He's been, as you guys have seen, um, in the arena before. So And he went really, really well. So that's why... Um, bringing um, him in, I knew I would be more comfortable and Wilder would be more comfortable to actually um, come into a different space with Yarden um, because of that reason. And my mindset over bringing Wilder is all about, it's all about bringing him into um, his best space um, of what he feels comfortable. So knowing that this is his first time out, I am making sure my mindset is on more less expectations to no expectations because relaxation for me is the key to him being comfortable to be in a performance situation. So if I can help him understand that when we do go out that it's a safe and relaxing place, that is my number one priority. So as you could see, I had a lovely little walk around with them and he's just having a little bit of a look because um, the indoor had its doors open at the back and he could see more horses and distractions out the very back. Um, so Mommy. I was still trying to get a little bit of a idea on a... what we were doing for our performance. Yep. So <clears> as you could see, the halter now is off Wilder and I'm just having a little assess on to see if Willie come with it, me. And it was a really nice start. I'm really happy that he did what we usually would do at home in our arena. He still um, performed beautifully at the start here. He's just going, oh, yeah, I remember this. Um, and I, like I said, I'm not thinking any super technical things for him. I just want him to enjoy doing this with me in Yarden. And this is the thing also when we do um, our Baroque performance, Wilder is more of, um, I w won't have any type of big expectations on how he goes because at the end of the day, he's a beautiful Baroque horse and if he just wants to stand and look pretty, I am more than happy with that. So um, as you can see, he has a lovely little walk with us, which is perfect. And then um, I'm up to my next little bit with Yarden. In a second, I just get a little bit more movement happening. And so as um, the horses are in a state of relaxation here, I start to add in a little bit more movement, which here I'm starting to ask for them to do um, their Spanish walk. So I'm just asking from above for Wilder and um, Yarden's got the idea as well. So just getting a few little steps going just so I can help them think also that we're actually doing something else um, that they've learnt in the more comfortable environment at home. So Wilder um, got the idea of it. It was nice to see him try. Uh, it, like everything, um, it's never going to be as good out as what we've been practicing at home. And for me, it's okay. I knew that this was just an assessment to see how we were going. Now, um, once again, we're going to go up the gate. So I'm just wanting to see how the horses handle me going up. And Yarden's lovely and relaxed. So I'm just going to use that. And what Wilder, who usually is um, following here, 
Um, I'm just helping him understand that, yep, I don't actually mind that he is staying relaxed in a single space because he, as you can see now, starts to engage, which is really beautiful. Um, it's not about forcing him to perform. It's about him being comfortable and want to join us is more my mindset over this whole performance is I know Wilder's background, so I just want him to be in the most happiest space that he can be in this type of performance. Now, the fun part, very happy. Um, now, I am riding Yard and Bridalist here. However, depending on the day and how I feel that the boys are feeling with the environment, if I am in any state of not thinking yard and can't um, handle the bigger environment with the crowds, I won't be riding him bridleless. But ideally, I would love to be able to show how far we have come from the horse that I had at Baroque just doing a Liberty uh, in hand and Liberty performance to the horse that we He's have now who is again. just super amazing in his own um fabulous way he has grown so much um in his confidence and I completely trust him to be able to go um, bareback and bridleless and also once again try and go up gates so um going trotting around and we even get up to a little canner in a second um just getting him to understand that yep the same stuff we can do at home is translating now to a different environment which is so exciting to be at this stage with him now i'm wanting to do a little bit of a combination of the faster stuff but then being able to come back and do some more technical things so i'm really getting them to or Yarden in this case to think about what we're actually doing and concentrating right on me when we get into this bridleless space because as you guys know it's really really important that when we are riding bridleless that we've got their full attention and that they're completely comfortable in the space with us so that's why I'm really concentrating on setting them up um, really well to help them both really think about their um, understanding of what I'm actually asking and here um, beautiful Wilder is having a go at, at, at from above again and as you can see he's still quite a little bit um, distracted and Yarden comes into the space too where he's not quite as confident as the, what we can do at home so knowing this is I take them back a step again so now this is our groundwork um, part so with this part I want them to stay a little bit more together now once again Wilder's a bit more distracted so I'm still expecting him to do a bit more than what I would when I was above Yarden. Um, and you can see here when I lose him a little bit, I'm going to come around and pick him up again. Um, one of the really biggest things that I noticed when um, I was at the uh, Liberty um, competition at Equitana was a lot of people... Um, try to get their horses by the force method or driving method and it really failed under pressure because the horses were already scared so they did not want to be scared more um so i'm taking a bit of a different angle and that's why as you can see i didn't drive wilder to pick him up i still go with the following type method because I want him to look to me for his comfort. So it'll be an interesting thing with the atmosphere um, to see if that actually works really well or not. Now, once again, they get a little bit stuck here, I guess more distractions, but it's nice to see them still trying. I mean, Yarden always tries, he's so beautiful. <laughs> he's such a clever man. Um, but Wilder's really, you know, he is starting to um, settle more and get the next part. 
So, yeah, so I'm really um, happy that Wilder is really relaxed, even though there's so much going on more outside. He's still listening. It's not by any means perfect, but for me, I really am not looking for perfection in a performance like this. I'm looking for happy horses um, in a bigger environment that is going to um, then transform into another performance where we can build on that. So I'm really hopeful that Wilder will um, keep progressing really well. As you can see, he's still trying his little heart out to do this with me. Um, Jan is all with me. He's such a beautiful boy. He's come so far. And we will, you know, build on everything together from here now. So just asking now a little bit of pressure stuff from Yarden. And actually Wilder thinks he wants to join in. I wasn't actually intending for Wilder to go out as well in this um, session, but Wilder actually knows that when I do ask Yarden, so he goes around me. So I was actually um, not expecting Wilder to head out, but I think in like any performance, we're going to find little bits that don't go as planned, but when they still do something for me, I'm going to reward and accept what we get on the day. So that was our first rehearsal. We did actually do another one to music, which went really well. So looking forward to transforming these guys um, to keep progressing for the performance.